cannon fodder. Much better cannon fodder. For one, you don't plan on using artillery that much. Anti-infantry defensive unit. These guys rarely survive, well, anything. For dealing with light armor. We've got the rockets! Place in cover to watch enemy movements and pray that they don't find him. These guys have the longest range radios in the game. To help your grunts deal with commandos. And yes, they can fire from inside buildings. I guess if the enemy has a lot of cover and infantry inside buildings, these could somehow be useful. Not take my horses to the older town road. Either bring this for road speed and cost effectiveness, or bring this to fully repair almost any damaged unit. Step 1. Place in ambush position. Step 2. Hope infantry don't trigger its overwatch. The same as before, but now it doesn't need a transport. Okay, now these guys can two-shot battle tanks. Just hope that, you know, infantry don't trigger their overwatch. Your first armored unit. Your first proper armored unit. They used to be able to one-shot heavy tanks. Thank goodness they got nerfed. Um, well, they're still a pretty solid unit overall. Alright, now we're getting into some frontline armored units here. It only has three fuel. Keep a supply unit near it if you want to keep it in the fight. This may have the best armor in the game, but that doesn't mean it can do everything on its own. For when you want a vehicle equivalent of dual-wielding Uzis. For when you want to run out of fuel three times before reaching the enemy. Sure, let's bring an even bigger multi-tank and cause an even bigger fuel crisis. I took ballistics in school! Fascinating subject! Things go up, things go down! A very solid artillery unit that can direct fire in self-defense. Great against blobs of units, just... Make sure not to hit your own units with it. Yeah, those howitzers are really good, but you know, I want something that doesn't just hit every enemy, but also every friendly unit as well. If you like RNG and gambling, this is the unit for you. All chance, no choice. A half infantry, half vehicle unit. Useful for early game artillery strikes or for cheesing the first Afghan mission. No more infinite fuel or the ability to capture stuff for the chance to maybe survive one attack from an enemy. A discount recon tank. Move, shoot, move again. They'll never know what hit them. Get this. It's a truck. But British. Spam these on Doomspire or Guest Offensive to unlock a better unit. They used to just cost 40 ticks and have infinite fuel. Now they have limited fuel and cost 90 ticks. They're still a pretty solid transport unit. If you don't need the radio in the APC and want a high damaging unit, this is the unit for you. Just be careful, it's not as durable as it looks. A dedicated anti-air unit that only does a mediocre job of clearing the air. The missile unit from Advance Wars, but noobs in combat edition. It has no ambush ability, it can't move an attack on the same turn, it has to be towed to keep up with your units, and it has a dead zone. I really wouldn't bother with this. It still can't one-shot aircraft. Unlimited supplies. Since most Navy units double as artillery units, this thing having a radio app makes it so much better than it looks. The only point of this thing existing is so that you can cheese beach landing with two battleships and two of these. I have no idea when you would ever need to use this. The all-rounder of the Navy section. Your only source of controllable air units, and also a really good artillery unit. Congratulations, you've become a pilot! Your purpose in life is to live for five turns, then die because we have no way to refuel you or for you to land.